Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Smart Edu Hub Mumbai. In today's video, I shall explain to you the difference between metals and alloys, and to be more specific, I'll explain to you why alloys are harder than the metals. Now imagine that these are the atoms of a pure metal. Excuse my drawing. Drawing. I'm not so good at drawing, but imagine that these are the atoms. of a pure metal so let me just write below it this is nothing but a pure metal and these are the metal atoms so as you can see the atoms in a metal in a pure metal are arranged in regular layers so one thing is they are arranged in regular layers okay so therefore what happens when a force is applied suppose i apply a force on this end of the uh, top layer so you can expect that every atom is going to shift a bit to the right so this will move a shift bit to the right sorry for that so this is going to move a bit to the right this will move a bit to the right similarly this and this one so eventually you will find that every metal atom will have shifted to the right to us by a small amount and therefore you will find that the new position of the upper layer will be something like this okay because every atom has shifted a bit so what's going to happen when a force is applied to a metal the metal layers shift a bit they slide past over each other and as a result we say that the metals are malleable and ductile but now when you talk about an alloy you know an alloy is a mixture of two different metals so let one color represent the atom of one metal and the other represent the atom of the other metal so in that case what's going to happen is i'm going to now number them so before i number them let me just draw okay let me just finish drawing the structure of the alloy so imagine that this is something that the structure of an alloy would look like now what happens is because the shape the size of the metal atoms is different like the first metal atom suppose i name this as metal atom of type 1 now the size of the metal atom type 1 is different from the size of the metal atom 2 so what's going to happen because of this the crystal lattice first of all is disrupted so the different size of the atoms are disrupting the size the crystal lattice structure basically which was earlier present in the pure metal that is one thing so the uh, lattice structure is disrupted second thing if i am going to apply a force at one end what's going to happen is definitely again every atom will try to shift to the right in this case but because they are of different sizes so what's going to happen is that the layers will not be able to slide past over each other easily as before as in the case of the pure metal and as a result even when the same force is applied there'll be more of shifting of a pure metal a uh, layer of atoms but there'll be less of shifting of the uh, layer of the atoms of the alloy that is the alloy is stronger or the alloy is harder so if this is my alloy i will call my alloy being harder so you got the reason why an alloy is always harder compared to a pure metal because it consists of atoms which have come from different metals and because they are of different sizes this prevents the layers from sliding past over each other easily as in the case of uh, as against the case of pure metals and that's the reason why alloys are harder as compared to pure metals So that's all in today's video on metals and alloys and basically why alloy is harder as compared to a pure metal. So if you do like watching my video please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.